A reverse mortgage is a special type of home loan that lets you convert the equity in your home into cash. So all of those, all those mortgage payments you've made over a period of years, you can get that money back, but it is a loan. Yes, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you viewers have noticed the huge amount of media about reverse mortgages, uh, pretty much led up by Fred Thompson, a former senator. Uh, he is on just about every day. Uh, he tries to encourage you to buy a reverse mortgage. There's another person, too, that's maybe a little bit more on the sidelines. That's uh, Henry Winkler. You remember him, the Fonz? Well, when the Fonz was doing his show and making millions of dollars, uh, nobody knew what a reverse mortgage was. So uh, essentially, uh, this is a new product, and uh, there's a lot of activity in it, and we want to give you as much information as possible about it. And it's important to know that you have to be living in the home that you're going to be uh, applying for this uh, reverse mortgage loan. Uh, and it doesn't have to be a single family home. It can be a, a two to four unit uh, uh, single structure uh, multifamily dwelling. So that's also a possibility. Uh, yes, and in addition to that, uh, if you do secure a uh, reverse mortgage, you still are liable for the insurance payments, uh, the property tax, and uh, what you would if you normally uh, did not have one. Those are your responsibility. Uh, when you buy a, um, uh, uh, when you sign up for a reverse mortgage, uh, there are fees, preparation fees, uh, search fees, there's all kinds of fees there, and different lenders um, charge different fees. So again, this is why you need to do your homework. Um, how much can I, uh, am I able to borrow? Well, uh, this is kind of a real, real mathematical equation. It's determined by the youngest borrower. In other words, if you're married and your spouse uh, is younger, that would be one of the determining factors. Uh, the other thing, and Kevin, maybe you'd like to talk about the uh, counseling that has to happen here. Yeah, well, the um, uh, Housing and Urban Development have a program that requires uh, counseling for qualification for these, um, uh, for these reverse mortgages, and it's essential that the homeowner have sufficient equi uh, equity or liquidity, actually, to be able to pay for their taxes, insurance, uh, maintenance, homeowners association fees, those types of things. And there's also a limit to the amount that uh, uh, can be mortgaged. It's uh, uh, similar to a conforming loan, which is $625,000. Uh, interest on refer, uh, uh, reverse mortgages are not tax deductible. Remember that, not tax deductible. Uh, the interest rates uh, that you would be charged for this loan are tied to market conditions. Uh, uh, Kevin, I believe that's the 10-year note, is that correct? Pretty much 10-year note. It's prevailing market conditions, and I think each bank or each institution is going to have their own, uh, their own favorite index that they'd be using. Yes, the uh, proceeds from uh, a reverse mortgage, and you can take this in monthly payments, you can take it in one lump sum. Uh, these proceeds, uh, proceeds are not taxed. They are not taxable. Uh, again, I, I want to say, uh, do some comparison shopping out there. Uh, everybody seems to be offering these, your local bank, Wells Fargo here, I'd be, would be more than happy to accommodate you. And if the, if the homeowner that was um, applying for a reverse mortgage was not necessarily interested in a consistent monthly payment, uh, there could be uh, a way to work out the, um, uh, the structure so it could be an effective line of credit. So you don't necessarily need the money, uh, use the money until you absolutely need it. And the negotiation could take place with the financial institution where the interest is not going to kick in until it was the, those funds are actually withdrawn. Yeah. Yes, um, very good point, Kevin. Uh, let's say that you do sign up, uh, you are smitten by Fred Thompson, okay, and you do sign up. Uh, you have three business days to cancel this arrangement if you happen to get cold feet. Well, yeah. I think the usefulness of a reverse mortgage needs to be analyzed against the, the homeowner's entire financial picture and also taking into account the couple's will and uh, their, uh, uh, their beneficiaries to that will. Uh, because you, uh, there's the possibility that um, uh, inheritance could also uh, uh, 
be required to pay back a reverse mortgage, it's a conversation that would most likely be shared with the beneficiaries of that will. That's pretty much all, all we have this week, Bill. Yes, well, it's been a pleasure again, Kevin. Always good to see you, Bill. Good Thanks to see much. you. Okay. This is Bill Campbell and Kevin Dauphiny for Hard Earned Money and Anthem Alive.